guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Kat Panic, and today I want to talk to you about what I'm going to be doing in my next couple of videos. Um, I decided that with all the extra time I have here around the house, I'm going to do something that I wanted to do for a really long time, which was basically take my favorite beauty book. Um, Dita Von Teases, Your Beauty Mark, The Ultimate Guide to Eccentric Glamour. <laughs> So basically in the book I have a review already online and I'll post a link around over here, over here, or down below. Um, and basically I break down the book and why it's my favorite beauty book but also be why it's such a great um, investment for people who are into eccentric glamour or vintage glamour or anything like that. The beauty book basically goes through all of Dita Von Teese's, um beauty regimens. Hey! Hey! No! I'm trying to film. Get her out of here. <sighs> so in the book, it talks about all of Dita Montez's um, tricks to eccentric glamour and also her beauty routine and all that stuff. And the thing about Dita Montez is um, she looks amazing for her age and she also is very particular with how she has or how she lives her life and her style and her beauty regimen and everything about her is just super intriguing to me and she's who I want to be when I grow up. I don't know about anybody else. Um, I thought it'd be really cool if I literally took every advice so literal and lived like a week in her life. Um, and now I've been following her beauty advice to a T for about a week. Um, and I'm going to extend to two weeks just because I want to get the full effect of everything. So in the book, I talked about this prior in my last video when I reviewed her book, is that um, she goes for everything from like her favorite foods to her diet, her exercise plan, the way like her beauty regimen, her skincare regimen, and all her self care regimen. So I made very, I went through one morning and I made super detailed notes about everything in the book and I'm sure things have changed. The book has was written into in 2015 and I'm pretty sure that there's probably been alterations to her lifestyle since then. Um, but I'm taking the book in its most literal form and I'm living it to a T right now. So for those of you guys who want to know a little bit about what I'm doing and the things that I'm eating and exercises and whatever, um, I'll post everything probably in my next video when I kind of make my conclusion. But this is kind of the introductory, like the first week and the things that I've noticed and all that other stuff and how how the new how the new schedule kind of makes me feel. It's like a great thing to do right now because people are sleeping at weird schedules and they are living like a life with no cemented schedule in and no routine. So this book, this challenge actually forced me to live a completely different routine than I'm used to, which was super fun. And I actually think I'm gonna adopt a lot of things in my regular routine when things do go back to normal. So, hi. So basically in the book here, it talks about her beauty regimen and when she wakes up in the day and all that good stuff. I took down detailed notes of the entire book in my journal and I created a schedule for myself for the next two weeks um, so I could live exactly like how she portrays in the book. What I wanted to talk about was the soundtrack. So she talks about what kind of music she actually enjoys listening to. A lot of it is like kind of boudoir. Um, French style music. I don't really know how to describe it. A lot from the 1940s and 30s, um, some from the 1950s as well. Uh, but there were certain songs that she actually said in the book that she created a playlist and it was called her like getting ready playlist. So I downloaded all those songs and I actually, I'll put a link down somewhere where you guys can listen to the Spotify playlist that I put up. She used coconut oil for everything. She says in the book that she used it as a makeup remover, as a body lotion, and a hair mask. So I started incorporating a coconut oil, oil on all of those aspects, which I never really used to do. And now I am kind of converted, actually. I'm not gonna lie, my skin's never been softer. Normal things like she brushes her teeth twice a day. Um, she never skips breakfast. And her face care, or in the morning, she always washes her face immediately and then she pats it dry and she applies her moisturizer right after. So even on days where she doesn't wear makeup, 
Um, she still does her skincare and then she also always wears lipstick. She says in the book, even if you just put lipstick on, you look already, you feel better, you feel like you're put together and it just kind of um, pulls your confidence up and you basically it's like you're ready to start the day which I totally agree on because I feel like putting makeup on even when you're not doing anything during that day it's like putting on like a coat of armor it's kind of like you're ready to go into battle so I'm always putting on a form of makeup of some sort during the day just to give myself um, basically a sense of like routine and a sense of um, strength I guess because in these uncertain times um, sometimes it's really all you need to get yourself through the day and make yourself feel better she removes her makeup every night she uses the CeraVe lotion as well as the coconut oil at night so I've been using a combination of the two as well as the skincare I've already had so this entire week I've actually set my alarm for when the sun rises and I get up at that time which can be super hard right now considering that you there's really no reason to get up because you're not like working um, but definitely getting in that sense of routine has helped me keep my sanity, I guess, um, which is super helped. Let's put the sun in the first thing she does is she pours herself two glasses of lemon water and she takes her probiotic and her vitamin. So um, next up, she, war war she boils water and she puts, um, she puts her kettle on and she boils water for a lemon and ginger tea that she makes. Before I have my morning coffee now, I've been drinking that drink and it's been really good. But she does her famous green smoothie and now this is like an unlike any other green smoothie I've had. Usually when I make green smoothies, I'll like throw almond milk in there, protein powder, um, and then I throw in like, you know, cucumbers and kiwis and broccoli and whatever. But hers is actually relatively simple. And I don't know if it's the simplicity of it, but it actually doesn't taste that bad. It took me a while to get used to. Two cups of spinach or kale, one cup of romaine lettuce, one apple or one pear, one or the other, a half a banana, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. So, and then you use water and you blend it. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. It kind of eats is um, pretty interesting. It wasn't a uh, far stray from what I actually do during the day because I am a vegetarian and I try not to have dairy products. But she states in her book that she um, does not have bread unless she's in Paris. So I've been cutting out all breads and glutens. And she only has meat when she travels and she's very particular about the meat that she has. Her vices are crunchy cookies and anything coconut. And you can tell in the book that she anything coconut smelling or any coconut flavored thing, she tends to go for. I think that's why she also likes coconut oil because she um, it likes the smell of it. She, she has a sweet tooth elixir that she uses at night so when she wants to create or when she's craving chocolate or anything like that it's actually really simple and I actually really enjoy it. I've, basically it's half a cup of almond milk, two teaspoons of honey, half a teaspoon of cardamom and then a little sprinkle of turmeric. So what I've been doing is I've been heating up the almond milk in one of my favorite cups in the microwave and then I add all my spice or add all my spices. I actually double the turmeric because I really like turmeric. And also, um, she says you can add a little bit of organic maple syrup or honey. Um, so you can add like a teaspoon of that too, which is just cancels out any sort of sweet craving you have because that stuff is so potent. Her late morning snack is a cup of organic oats with cinnamon and cardamom sprinkled in it. Um, and then you can add, if you've got a little bit of sweet tooth, a little bit of maple syrup, syrup or um, organic honey. And then she said also like you can add a little bit of vanilla extract. The sizes that she has in the book, they're all, so from what I could describe, a Pilates based exercise. So all very core inspired and all about working on the core and the shape. And because she is a burlesque dancer, that's I guess the most important thing is keeping toned and keeping that sort of hourglass shape. So there's a ton of exercises um, and they range for everything from glute exercise to core to arms. And so she says that you need to work out an hour a day over three to six times a week. So I've been trying to do the five to six times just because I have a lot of time on my hands. So in the morning after the green smoothie, I go in and I work out.
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free too cheap to put real lemons in it so it's got some lemon juice i'm drinking about that much already with my probiotics and vitamins so last night i did my nails in the classic dita half moon french I'm here in a roller set that i've slept in overnight so after i finish these bad boys here i'm gonna go and wash my face and then probably start prepping the green smoothie do the workout and then continue on with the day and of course eat the overnight oats that I've prepared after the workout so yeah this is probably the most liquids I've had to drink in the morning so it's pretty interesting I've learned how to chug the golden tea or the golden drink I guess is what I've been calling it pretty quick as soon as it cools now I just kind of like guzzle it as fast as I can some mornings when I'm not in a huge rush to get things done I'll like just sip on it but if I really want, if I'm eager to get to the black coffee, I'll chug that one. That's basically what I do in the morning. I sit and I stare outside and I watch my bird feeder in hopes that the birds will start to come. Some days are better than others. And then I also bring out the laptop. And that's usually where I start kind of doing some like marketing work. If I have a video to edit, I'll edit my video. Um, a lot of times I just kind of look up Pinterest and stuff. I just purchased like a 1956 um, box TV that I'm redoing. So I found, like I've just kind of scoured the internet looking for like projects and stuff that I can add to the house that's in like the mid-century modern decade. And so um, this is about the time where I'll kind of go on the internet whenever it kind of piques my interest, I'll start researching it. So lately I've been pretty interested in Christine McConnell um, and all her projects and how she does her house. So I think that once I actually, um, when the economy starts to pick up again, I'll probably buy into her Patreon so I can steal her patterns and uh, get some more ideas for like my house. So, but usually my Pinterest is full of mid-century modern inspiration and stuff that I want my house to be or aspire to look at, and also like clothing that I like to make. So I have a playlist going on in the background, which I listen to every morning. It's actually super nice because it's kind of a relaxing playlist. And after that, usually I'll throw on like some Billie Holiday or some Eartha Kit. 
and um, just continue on with the morning. Um, I just restarted Mad Men. We re restarted watching Mad Men because um, I felt like it was gonna get me in the mood for this challenge, but also it just, it's such a great show and I love it, so. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to this one. It's a little spicy, and but it definitely like preps your taste buds, I guess, for whatever you're gonna have in the rest of the day. Having like that, that um, rooty, turmeric, earthy taste, and then the spice of the ginger, and then the citrus of the lemon. It kind of uh, works with like all the palates in your mouth, and I'm not like a professional or anything when it comes to this sort of stuff, but I feel like it preps your palate for, um, you know, more, not healthy food, but more natural food because you're not getting like a sensation of like sweet sugar right in the morning. Um, sometimes when I, well, when I used to drink coffee before I started drinking it black, I used to drink it with like just your typical like international delight creamer or your really sugary creamer. But um, I switched to going black coffee or switched to drinking black coffee when I went vegan. And then when I came back and just went vegetarian from being vegan, I stuck with the black coffee because I got really used to it and I really liked it. Um, so that's always been a plus, but sometimes I still enjoy like sweeter food throughout the day because I'm kind of a chocoholic. Um, but I found that this guy kind of helps curb that. I don't know if it's just like the science behind the mixture, but it is quite nice. And also if you're feeling a little sick, I luckily haven't been feeling sick at all but if you are feeling a bit sick I have a feeling that this would be your best friend it's better than neocitrin it's healthier than neocitrin it's got less preservatives and less processing and chemicals One thing I have noticed um, with doing the workouts every night is that my abs and my butt are super, super sore. It's nasty. So I assume that the workouts have been working. I also, I also have noticed that like all of my bloating throughout the day is gone. Like I have no bloating. And I also noticed that um, I feel like my core is a lot stronger. My lower back pain, which I've been getting because I've been sitting on the couch so much, has like subsided. And I don't know if it's because I'm not sitting on the couch as much because I'm working out or if it's because I'm strengthening my core. So I got this vintage hair scarf and these like um, sponge roller or these uh, like, I don't know, they're like rock and rollers, but they're almost like a better quality. I had a friend make them for me. She runs a sewing company. And I'm thinking of actually like putting a whole set of like a matching scarf and hair rollers up as a giveaway for the challenge for people who watch the videos, may partake or like talk about like what they've noticed when they do the challenge. So stay tuned for that. I think it'll be like super fun.